Okay, so when we understand how to interpret rock layers, we can start to correlate between them. And this just means looking at the rock layers that are present in one location, looking at the rock layers that are present, you know, a ways away in another location and figuring out um, what is happening in between these two locations beneath the Earth's surface. All right, so this is what we call stratigraphy. Um, and this is the branch of geology that is concerned with the order and relative position of rock strata and their relationship to the geologic time scale. Right. Um, I think of this kind of like a puzzle. I actually, <laughs> I have a lot of fun uh, working with stratigraphy. All right, so um, in order to correlate, first you have to have a record of the stratigraphy, a record of the geologic rock units in one location. And geolo geologists represent this information with a stratigraphic column. And that just means um, on a piece of paper, we draw a column and within that column, we represent all of the different rock layers that we find in one location, right? It's kind of like taking a core out of one location, um, looking just at a single column. What are the rock layers beneath that column? And we know that within that column, because of different rates of deposition and because of unconformities, the stratigraphic column isn't necessarily going to directly scale to geologic time. So in the image I'm showing here, you can see the stratigraphic column in the bottom left. But you'll notice um, that in the column right next to it on the right, that's the time scale that there's a lot of gaps in time, right, that aren't represented by those rocks in the stratigraphic column. So this is important for us to keep in mind. Okay. Now, if geologists have stratigraphic columns from many different locations, right, then we can start connecting the dots in between them. Right? So we can correlate strata from multiple stratigraphic columns um, that are far away from each other in order to fill in the information that we can't see underground, or maybe that's been eroded away. Right? And geologists use stratigraphy to create geologic maps. Right? So here is a geologic map of California where all of the different colors represent different um, rocks. Right? Here's another one for Georgia. Again, all of those different colors represent all the different types of rocks in Georgia. And I want you to look at this one because this is where we live. Right? And think about what do you notice? What do you wonder about our geologic map? 